So during her concert in Australia, Madonna pulled a 17-year-old fan on stage with her and then proceeded to smack her ass and pull on her shirt, exposing her breast. Take a look. She's the kind of girl you just want to slap on the and pull. Oh, and, and it's not sorry, sexual harassment. You can do the same to me, good luck. Okay, so the fan is uh, Josephine Georgiou, who is a barista and aspiring model in Australia. And uh, while many have taken to Twitter to express their criticism of Madonna's actions, calling it sexual harassment, uh, disgusting, and also saying that if it was a male who did the same actions, that he would be prosecuted, the fan has released a statement saying uh, that she defends the singer. She says, uh, seriously, why would I sue Madonna for the best moment of my life? It was the best night. She was calling me a Victoria's Secret model the whole time I was on stage, which is so flattering. Only I get to decide if I'm humiliated uh, or not. Why would people assume I'm humiliated by my own breast, nipple, or body? Her mom also put a Facebook post saying, Madonna just spanked my daughter. So proud. So just to give you guys uh, some context for, okay. for what happened here. So basically, somehow she she switched tickets with somebody. She got upgraded, right? And so mm -hmm. she got moved up forward, and she felt like Madonna her made eye contact at some point during the concert, okay? And then she saw Madonna talking with one of the stage managers, and later <laughs> the stage <laughs> Jimmy's dying. Later mm -hmm. the stage manager uh, approached her, I guess, and pulled had her come up on stage, and they instructed her that Madonna would smack her on the ass. She was warned about that that they would walk to the end of the, the runway on the stage, flip off the audience, and that would be the extent of it. She was wearing a, a leather bustier that apparently had uh, nipple rings on it. Madonna pulled at it, and I guess she pulled a little too hard. No, not her nipple rings. Like, the nipple rings were on the bustier. Pulled oh, at it I see. And pulled a little too hard, oh, exposing her thanks, breast. Guys. Okay, so she wasn't supposed to do the the wardrobe malfunction. Yeah, but she she did wasn't get a, a Janet Jackson situation. It was an accident. Like this was an right. actual accident. But she, she did get a warning. She was going to get slapped yes. in the ass. Yes. Okay. Totally changes things. And that does change things. Yes. Um, I'm I'm split on it because like everybody's having fun. Nobody disagreed, yeah. right? She was, you know. <laughs> Why? What are you? What's oh, you've changed, Jenk. I know I have. You have changed. I have. In fact, I'm going to get into how I changed. Yeah. And what a bad, bad man I used to be. <laughs> okay. Um, on the other hand, that line about if it was a guy who did it to a girl. Yeah. It's pretty devastating. I mean, they're right. If like Kid Rock is up there and he's like, "Hey, what's up?" and then slaps her ass and then rips her yeah. top off, 100%. people are like, like "Whoa!" Yeah. Guess what, right. though, Jenk? Here's the thing. It wasn't a guy. I love that counterpoint as if like, well, that's that. That's it. <laughs> Wait, if it was someone else doing things like that, it wasn't someone else. It was a woman. But why does it, so why is it? Because I mean, it's, it's, that totally changes it. Why does it change why? it? Uh, because she's a woman. <laughs> right. I don't know how. Like, do so I have it. to oh, well, explain this? I don't uh, understand. Kind of. <laughs> so, okay, wait, wait, wait. So what if it was a guy that came up and it's a guy performer, so same sex, just like Madonna and the yeah. girl, and he's like, yeah, and takes off his pants. Is that acceptable? And I lean in and go, and he was a man. Uh, to, it's uh, it's different. It's all different. I mean, I'd have to think about that a little longer, <laughs> but I know this, I mean, depending how far he pulled down his pants, I don't know how long I would have to think about it, but <laughs> this, this is totally different. This is a woman who... Was they were all, she already agreed to do something, by the way. Something. So she went, oh, you can yeah. spank me on the ass. I'm kind of want to be a model. I'm wearing something. So there, she's part of the show. She's in the show. Yeah, and but Jimmy, Jimmy, you can't say just because somebody agrees to do one thing, if they go a little further, then it's still okay because they agreed to do the first part of that. Come on. Yeah, no, I, I agree with you there, but I'm just saying it's not the same thing as if a guy did it or if, a, you know, Kid Rock did it. But that's heteronormative because we don't know, like, you know, sexual orientation isn't coming into play I don't know what here. that means, but I do know <laughs> that this was a woman and that that's what makes it different. You know what, Jimmy? You make a great argument there. Okay. Point, <laughs> counterpoint. Okay. All right. So to, to how I've changed, I was at a Guns N' Roses concert uh, when I was, you know, in college, so a long, long time ago. And uh, and they would go, go to different women in the, they'd point the camera. Guns N' Roses didn't come out. They were like eight hours later or whatever. Like, there's a 
rock stars drive me crazy. Yeah. We were lucky though. We there was this little known group uh, that came out called Soundgarden, right? And we didn't know we, yeah. we at the time. And they're like, and it was around Christmas time, and they're like, uh, this one goes out to a, a friend of ours that's got a birthday coming up. Jesus fucking Christ. Da, 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 da. We're like, oh shit, these guys are awesome. Right? So, and then they went to all the girls in the crowd and they'd put the camera there until she showed her breasts. Okay? And they'd do it to one person after another after now. One or two girls were like, no, and then they moved on. Okay? After a while, right? Uh, but everybody else showed their breasts and everybody went wild. We didn't know if the tits were better or the sound garden was better, right? I, I have a guess. <laughs> So now, Hannah, yeah. back in the day, nobody even thought twice about that. That was just cool. That was fun. Now, as the camera lingers there for too long, you're thinking, I think I think that they're being you know put under pressure, and it's this whole right. you know power dynamic thing, and I, that's just how I think about these things. Yeah. yeah. And I think like she's pulled on stage. One, she's a minor. Mm -hmm. Two, she's. Flipping standing next to Madonna. So of course she's gonna have like she's not gonna be like, <gasps> how dare you, Madge? Like that's totally unacceptable. Of course not. Nobody would do that on in front of thousands and thousands of people. And so now she's in this situation where she's like, no, Madonna was Madonna, flipping Madonna was complimenting me. And it was an accident, she pulled it down, whatever. It was funny. But she's young, she doesn't know, and you know, you don't know what she's gonna feel like in 10 years down the road or whatever. Well, so there's uh, two different issues here. Uh, number one is was it some transgression, harassment, assault, whatever you want to call it, right, at that moment? But when you say you don't know how she's going to feel 10 years from now, I, that part I actually think is totally irrelevant. Like she might feel bad about it, but I'm not, that we're done with this conversation. Because you can't come back 10 years later and say, okay, now I right. changed my mind. And now I, I just mean because she's a minor. Do you know right. what I mean? So she might feel but differently so, uh, about getting, because she's getting a lot of attention now, and she mm -hmm. is an aspiring model, so she might feel different about the attention that it's garnering now than maybe if she was older. That's all I was saying. Yeah, and uh, and but again, the minor thing is the same thing happened to Akon, right? He did this dirty dancing with this girl that was at a club of people who were supposed to be above 21. Yeah. I don't know what the concert here situation is. It turned out she was 14, so. You know, he got in a lot of trouble, etc. But he's like, "How the hell was I supposed to know? Did Madonna know she was 17? I doubt I it." So I, then, and I think it was an accident. On, uh, in fair of Madonna, I, like for all fairness to her, I think it was an accident. But it reminds me of when uh, Katy Perry had that fan come on stage, and the fan started kind of groping Katy Perry. But it was a girl, so everybody really? was like fine with it. So there is a double standard, and it's not fair. Uh, you know, yeah. essentially, it's not fair. I have a ruling. Are, are, oh, can I ask one question? Yeah, yeah. So. I don't know. Are there any differences between men and women? Ever? <laughs> or in this I'm, case? I'm asking, just in general, are there differences? Yeah, of course there are differences. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Jimmy, yes. Oh. We have these things called penises. Oh, okay. I mean, are there, are there, so are there differences also in the w way men and women act in our culture, or are they act exactly the same? No, Jimmy, I know they act differently, uh, but. If she, if the girl was not cool with it in this particular case, we would be defending. Yeah, herself. and 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 in fact, there would have been legally no difference at all, right? right? I don't know, but the woman, the, the fact that she's underage is what changes it. I didn't know that she was underage, so that does change it uh, a lot, actually. Uh, okay. Yeah. If she but was, even if okay, but let's say she was 18 and she okay. still had her breast exposed without her consent, well, still not okay. It's still an accident. They were they were kind of doing a sketch, right? So I'm gonna spank you on the ass and then I'll tug at your bustier. Oh my God, your bustier! She didn't know that a bustier was. So right. And I a, said it was an accident. Yeah. So they're I doing a sexy. They're doing a sexy sketch. She was part of it, and then it was kind of an accident. That's different than Kid Rock. Go get up! I want to grab your ass or putting a camera on their tits until they show. She. I don't think Madonna actually knew that was going to happen. So no. that changes it also. I agree. I think. I think it was a complete accident. I think the issue here is, and I think it's been a little exemplified on this panel, is there is a, a fetish. Fetishization of girl on girl action, right? Yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and so I think that I makes know. situations where that could be deemed sexual harassment because we do live in a uh, relatively heteronormative society, uh, a, a little more hairy than than we would if it was opposite sex. The, the guys are the hairy ones. That's why we like the girl on girl. So I think the only thing that uh, whenever, I, and I don't want to make too much out of this, but I just. You know, in the in in the in the in the uh, 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 tried to advance political correctness, which I think we all all political correct. 
But at the same time, um, what does political correctness like try to make us ignore who we are, right? Like we, we are different people. Men do have like, uh, so am I not supposed to be turned on by two women? You can be turned on by you know whatever I mean? you want, Jimmy. No, no, I'm asking like, no, is, but I, I, I'm with Jimmy on this one. I yeah. mean, is that so when you go, because then there's that actual that men fetishize? Yes, it's hot to hot women so, together. But so what I'm saying is that, is that politically incorrect for me to feel that way, attracted by that? Can, can I try a, my hand at a ruling here? So to that specific question, it can't be wrong for us to be turned on by two no, women. No, that's because, fine. I because agree. Because if, if it's wrong, sad day for you guys, because we are. Okay. <laughs> So that's just, you can't get into my head, you're not allowed there. Okay, so that's just the world of work, the way the world works. On the other hand, that doesn't allow you to, ex uh, to exempt laws that are in place. Yeah. Just because I'm turned on by two women doesn't mean that Madonna can rip her uh, shirt off. Exactly. Right? So now, but in this case, she didn't object, and it was a skit that went a little wrong, but she was fine with it. So there's actually, at the, at the end of the day, no real issue because the. Except the, she's a minor. That's the only uh, but issue. But again, like Madonna had no idea that she no, was a minor. Like they I didn't said, have it sex. Was like, it was it was an accident. But she doesn't get to say whether or not. Like just like if a fourteen year old had sex with a thirty year old or something or something like yes. that, the fourteen year old is if she goes, oh no no, it's totally fine. I'm totally cool with it. We wouldn't be like, right, oh yeah, the fourteen year old says it's chill. So no no, but so that is statutory rape, and their consent is not relevant. Okay, right, and that is codified in the laws. Now I don't know what the laws are in Australia. You're not right? allowed to touch another person without consent. So okay. technically, what Madonna did was illegal, but because the uh, girl is not filing like some sort of complaint, the uh, the police they say they're not going to pursue it. Right, and she and she in this case they didn't have sex. It was so it's not right. statutory rape. Right. It's not any of that. Now I don't know if you're going to get dive into like, well, if, if she's technically a minor. And we saw her breasts. Is that child pornography? And Madonna caused it. But come, like, yeah, no. Come of on. Of course, there has to be a line somewhere. But I think we just, like, like I was saying, I don't think we, like, I think there are laws that exist for a reason. And I don't think just because of gender or sexuality, we get to like make pardons. Yes, I, I agree with that part. And I also agree that this guy's way too heteronormative. Agreed. <laughs> <laughs>